Hello again. How's it going? Um, I've been, I've been reading the comments, you know. All the people saying they like that one. There's a couple of you. I'm glad you like that one. Um, so the the wind streak didn't go up. The wind streak didn't go up uh, last time when we played on random on this side. So we're we're gonna go back to random on this side. But if if I had won, I would have gone back to this side anyway. But whenever the wind streaks reset, I'm just gonna click random on the first side. All right, so. If you don't know about this character, what you want to do as this character is lower your red health down to one, which is not what I did. I just hey, thanks for thanks for opening that secret room for us, explodey worms. But yeah, if you lower her health down to one, then <laughs> they open the other side too. Then uh, you get a damage boost. Um, since I've gotten all the unlocks, I have the razor unlocked as a starting item for Eve, this character. And when you use the razor, it lowers your red health by I believe it's one heart or one half heart. You'll probably see once I'm in the boss room. Yeah, this is a little bit tricky. All right. With these guys, and with any enemy, you just want to focus more on dodging shots than getting damage in. And if you don't do that, I mean, that's fine, but if you don't make it to the last stage with a lot of hearts, then... You know, you're more likely to die there. I'm probably just gonna use this in one room and then put it back. It's not a bad item, but... I think this item's probably what we want to use instead of that. Wouldn't be surprised if I got hit in here, so... I think I'm gonna hold off on using the razor. Okay. Try to take out this fly before the baby plum. And yeah, we got hit, so probably not a bad thing. I didn't use the razor. Now Eve's dead bird is doing some damage to baby plum. And I got a damage boost from going down to one red heart. I'll pick this up, get a little luck up, and lose our stat boost from going down to one red heart. We'll take this, I guess. Okay, cool. One moment, I'll be right back. I gotta go check something. 
I was gone for about five minutes. And resume. <laughs> Don't have any bombs to reach those chests. So I guess I'm just going down to the next floor. Alright, burning basement one. Walk in here and see what's going on. Oh, this is burning basement two. I was in basement or cellar last floor. Good old troll bomb. God dang, these flies. All right. Yeah, it does a full heart of damage. Unless you have a wafer, then it might only do half a heart. And Razor does give you a damage boost as well so you get a temporary damage boost for that room that you use it in even if you don't go down to one heart as this character I'm just trying to take out this big dude before I go deal with the other big dude over there Yep. Like you can see, sometimes sometimes you'll get a pretty decent prize from breaking those poops. One of those had a nickel in it. Most of them didn't have anything, but... Yeah, no. Alright, so I'm gonna avoid using this key I have on the treasure room. Because I have a the stars card at the moment that I can just use to teleport there. Alright, and I could use some bombs, so we're gonna take a burnt penny, which will give me a chance to have a bomb show up whenever I pick a penny up. Those ring flies are kind of tricky sometimes. Oh, and these flaming leapers. On the later floors, the leapers can get kind of difficult when they start shooting out shots when they land, but on the first two floors, they're not too bad, as long as they don't catch you by surprise. There's a movable barrel over there that I'm going to push over here and see if there's a secret room. Rather, a super secret room. There we go. Okay, we got some pills. Let's see what's in this boss room. I might actually not even go into the gold room and just wait 
for next floor to use this card. Give myself a double damage boost and the extra bonus from the curse. Alright. Latch key gives you two keys and a luck boost. I don't know why I even picked up those hearts. Okay, so apparently the razor will do one damage the first time you use it in a room and then it does half a heart of damage on the subsequent uses. Okay, yeah. Shot speed down. Well, I used those to try to get a uh, positive pill instead of a negative pill. That didn't, uh, I don't think that worked out very well for me. Here we go down to the next floor. Yeah, I'm not going to go that alternate route this time. Terrible gift. Okay, so we did not take the devil deal that showed up last floor. Because of that, we now have a chance for an angel deal to show up. Okay, that was close. These gurglings are very fun and not at all something to worry about. I'm gonna go in here like this. I used the razor to remove a red heart. Okay, this is good. To remove a red heart instead of removing a soul heart when entering the room. Now I'm gonna use a stars card to exit and go in here. Which, it's another active item that I don't want. So, I'm going to imagine that's the kind of item that was in the last treasure room I had the option of entering. I don't mind taking red heart damage on this floor because I've already, I've already went to the angel deal. Only thing that's really bad about taking red heart damage now is that I'll lose the extra red heart I could gain if I don't take any red heart damage until I exit the floor as a result of that eternal heart on the end. There's a bomb drop from a coin as a result of the burnt penny trinket we're carrying. Okay, these guys, these guys can eat the fat one. These fat bats can. There we go, there we go. Yep. 
try to avoid taking damage from these guys now. Alright. I'm gonna walk in here and see what's up. Pick this up. Probably should have waited, but it's too late now. Oh, thank you for opening that secret room for me. Now I can go and open that stone chest without taking self damage. All right. I got that good damage bonus. It's a reusable, throwable bomb. I'll throw over here. Thank you, thank you. Then use this right here. All right. Just checking to see the audio levels. Okay. Oh. Well. Might not have gone the quickest route to the boss, but... I think we found a lot of the floor. All right. That guy was an exploding champion. As you can see from the fact that he exploded. Okay. Okay, yeah, I'm just trying to not take damage and kill these guys as quick as I can. Okay, well. Let Dead Bird do some work in here. Thank you, Dead Bird. Thank you. <sighs> yeah. All right. It's got two of the enemies of those with that bomb and a mushroom. Lucky Toe is cool, but I think the bombs are more useful at this point. Oh, yes. I do very much like fighting this guy. Doesn't worry me at all. Oh, he got the laser ring. Yeah, these mushrooms are helping me out. Because they're blocking some of those shots. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Well, we got the angel room. So, might as well use two of clubs in here and blow this guy up. And then get a little damage boost. I, I'm i not sure how I avoided getting hit. It might have been due to the uh, invincibility frames that you get from when you take damage. I know the hitboxes are kind of weird when it comes to lasers. Alright. Now I can get increased angel deal chance from this key piece. And I'm gonna look around on this floor to see if there might be uh, 
another spot where's where there's some mushrooms worth exploding also I might just use this yeah if you're gonna use Bob's rotten head which is this reusable throwing bomb item beware that it takes on the effect of your tier effects so if you have bouncy tiers it might not hit exactly where you want it to I don't have bouncy tiers though so Alright. Maybe I'll find something good in the next item room, the next treasure room. 